Now, there were some queues at bookshops early this morning for Prince Harry's autobiography, mainly small ones. But how deceptive was that? It turns out, thanks to internet pre-ordering, the book has become the fastest-selling non-fiction work ever on its first day on sale. 400,000 copies were sold as hardbacks, e-books or audiobooks. Harry still has one more television appearance to talk about it to go later tonight on an American chat show. The window display wasn't subtle, but then again, nothing about this has been. Before sunrise, the only cues were the media, but one or two were up early to secure a copy of Prince Harry's book. Isn't that a horrible move? Including online and audiobook sales, it is the fastest selling non fiction book ever, with more than 400,000 snapped up so far. Probably go straight back to my room and read it now. <laughs> to hear Harry's story. Someone needs to hear his story, and I want to read it for myself. Confidently sold at half price already. I think it's terrible for him. Uh, to reveal his difficulties and unhappiness in public like this. I mean, maybe he thinks it helps him, but I can't see how. But others, like Emily, are choosing not to buy it. I think if he were truly committed to serving other people, he wouldn't be serving his interests as he is. As far as I see it, the divide couldn't be greater. In the US, Harry continued the interviews, revealing how his mother might feel. I think she would be heartbroken that it's ended up where it's ended up. My guess will be Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, right there, yeah. Ooh. And the promotional tour continues with an appearance on The Late Show tonight. Charities benefiting from his book sales have welcomed his generous donations. Harry has got me. <laughs> back at the bookshop and for this couple it's a love story of sorts. It's <laughs> Valentine's Day is coming up. I'm buying that book for you today. <laughs> Good reading babe. <laughs> Once he's made a lot of money out of the book <laughs> it'll mm. probably die down and then there'll be something else. Romance or tragedy? This is now an indelible chapter in the history of our monarchy. Rebecca Barry, News at 10.